On the 21st of March 2024, news was out that Droni Aerospace unveiled its two-seater flying car, the Droni H1X. It looks like a refined version of its earlier iterations. The H1X will have a payload capacity of 500 pounds or 227 kilograms with a top speed of 120 miles per hour. It will have a flight time of 40 minutes. The time it will take to recharge is just 24 minutes. A ballistic parachute is also on the offer for added safety. The Droni H1X is different from other single and two-seater EV tolls that are in the market. None of the others like the Pivotal Helix, the Jetson 1, the Ehang 216S, the Xpeng X2, the Air 1 or the Skyfly X make use of ducted propellers. The Droni H1X uses four coaxial ducted fans for vertical takeoff and landing. There are two separate horizontal ducted propellers for thrust. The benefits of ducted propellers are well documented. The duct increases the thrust efficiency by up to 90% in most cases in comparison to similar sized propellers in free air. Ducted fans are notably quieter. They can also be used for thrust vectoring. The shroud offers good protection to ground personnel from accidentally contacting the spinning blades. The duct also protects the blades from external debris or objects. If this is the case, then why the other mentioned EV tolls aren't using them, particularly when all of them are trying to maximize the flight times and be safer not only for the pilots but also for the bystanders? It turns out that there are a couple of disadvantages of using ducted propellers. First is the most obvious, which is the added weight of the duct. It is the second disadvantage, however, that is the most concerning. The fixed ducted fans are aerodynamically problematic in forward flight. Not only does the duct in forward flight produce drag, but the lift from the duct is also significantly reduced as the forward speed increases. The reason is that the air has to bend up to 90 degrees as it passes over the duct for the intake of the propellers. As the forward speed increases, so does the air's momentum and it gets increasingly difficult for it to bend into the propeller. To overcome this problem, ducted fans are tilted in forward flight. This was the case in the Bell X-22. Duroni has mentioned that they countered the fixed ducted fans in forward flight problem by using a separate set of horizontal pusher propellers. They further mentioned that the loss of lift from the ducted fans will be augmented by the presence of wings, which will give progressively higher lift as the forward speed increases. The speed of the ducted fans will also be gradually reduced as the forward speed increases. The Droni H1X has an interesting set of wing configuration. From the design, it can be best described as a tandem X-wing aircraft. At the front, they have ducted fans in the wing, a feature that only the Cavalier X5 uses amongst the current VTOL designs. Also present are wing fences to isolate the flow between the normal section of the wing and the ducted portion of the wing. At the aft section of the fuselage are the X-wings. The wings inclined downwards have wheels at the wingtips. The Airbus Vahana also had this kit landing wing. They were to provide the aircraft stability and prevent Dutch roll. The inclined up portion of the wings in the Droni again features ducted fans. Droni said that it has patented the combination of tandem wings and electric ducted fans. It added that the design was inspired by jet fighters of the 1950s and the 1960s, which blended different wing chambers and sweeps. The H1X uses carbon fiber extensively. However, even with that, the total weight of the vehicle will be 840 kilograms. This is high compared to the earlier mentioned EV tolls in the video. 
Having said that, Droni could certify the tandem wing design as a light sport aircraft under the FAA's Mosaic proposal, which would raise the weight limit on such aircraft from 600 kilograms or 1320 pounds to about 1360 kilograms. Doing so would lower the model's barrier to certification and make it more accessible to pilots. So far, Droni have completed a manned test flight for vertical takeoff and landing with a full-scale model that had open propellers. They are taking pre-orders for the HX-1. It has to be said that Droni is behind in the development curve compared to other eVTOLs which have hundreds of tested flying hours in their full-scale production models. It is an ambitious concept the proof for which will be in the pudding. And with this, the video is concluded. If you learned something from it, then please do give it a thumbs up. Thank you for your attention.